Hey all, I hope this video is finding you all well. It's been a bit of a hectic one for me, which is why the video is a day late. I do apologise, but uh, I do have a few important things going on at the moment. So uh, yeah, that's why. The little house behind me is one of the five that I own. Um, and I think you'll agree, it's very pretty. It's a turn of the century um, little property and it just needs the roof and its chimneys putting back on and then it's more or less done really so if anybody's got any nice name suggestions for it as I haven't got one for it yet that would be lovely uh, and I must thank everybody that has subscribed and give me a thumbs up and commented because it really does help me along and thank you so much it's made me feel appreciated and I, I really love that so that's fantastic so anyway I hope you enjoy the two videos there's not an awful lot of Follybeck farm in it this week just because I've got some major work coming up on it that needs doing and I need a hand to lift it and uh, nobody's been available to do that. So anyway, enjoy and ta-ta for now. Hi all. Well, if you were kind enough to watch my last video, you'll have noticed Tobias, in his wisdom, decided to um, carry little Piggy in the baby's pram. Not the best thing to do. Now, when I bought Beth, she actually came with a pram which was, I'm trying to think, this one. Yes, it was the one, this one. And this one I already had. So they were identical prams. So I decided to cut the hood because um, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. <laughs> so I just thought to myself, right, let's see as a project if we can make this bog standard, as we call it, modern pram into something a little bit nicer obviously i didn't film me taking this off it was just tin sniffs and then uh twisted it at the corners and then filed it oh it's this side <laughs> and then filed it uh so it wasn't sharp anymore so yeah so let's see if we can actually um make a hood for it i don't know if this is going to work i'll be honest uh don't know we'll give it a go though so what i'm going to do is use this as a bit of a tem template for the shape of the hood and I know that I'm going to need, I want to make the hood slightly bigger. So I'm just going to use this as a guide. Uh, yeah. How's that ended up so much bigger? How unreal. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, scissors. Hold on a minute. Right, got the scissors. Stick it to that line, thinking about it. And just come down there. And so I can find some fabric. Give me two minutes. I have this piece of fabric in a national costume. The doll wasn't any good and um, most of the fabrics were tatty, but the open was okay. So I think that's going to look okay. And I'm even going to use the lace and try and get away with um, <laughs> using it as it is. Let's see. It's going to go horribly wrong as usual, but we'll give it a go. Um, so that's that piece that needs to be there. So I need that. I think I need that to be there and then I've got to see if that's the piece that goes along. I probably need to write on this, don't I? But that's the front. I'll write, I'll just write F there so I know that's the front. So the lace would go along that piece. Is there enough? That's the question. I think there should be. Do I keep a bit of lace on the bottom? That could look quite cool. I'll cut it with that on now. I can always put it off. It's it's hardly been wasteful. It's a tiny bit of lace. Right, I've decided to go needle and thread. It's going to be quite slippy. And possibly a little bit difficult. It is really hard to sew. Um, so far away from your own body. I suppose it's something I'll get used to. It's just hard to remember. You got you find yourself concentrating so much you... you uh, Totally forget that you're on camera. 
well, I'm not on camera, but the piece of fabric is. As you can see, it's starting to fray already. I thought it would. It's not a surprise. <laughs> At this point I thought, why didn't I just cover the metal hood with some fabric? But I didn't, and uh, I do like to make things difficult for myself, <laughs> such is life. There we go. Let's start with a little hood. It's, it's definitely old wire because it's multi-strand. And I remember that much um, from the electrician telling us. So... It's lovely and soft and perfect for what I want. Obviously, if you plan to do something similar or find some old other electrical cable that's got the plastic coating on, you can strip the wire out of that anyway. And um, this is completely off the cuff. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. I've been trying to fathom it out in my head how I'm actually going to fix this little hood to the pram. And I think that's where the real problems are going to lie. Let's have a look now. You're probably even going to be a bit narrower than that, isn't it, really? But that's that's giving it a bit of a stretch, which is what I wanted. Sorry, it's, it is quite difficult to see this. If I turn it inside out, you can see that's, that's just fitting within the seams just about. And I'm pretty sure that's long enough. I just want to make sure before I cut it. Like I say about there, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's still giving enough to wrap over. It should be really pretty. I'm actually um, quite hopeful. <laughs> Could be a mistake to be hopeful, of course. Three or four. Uh, probably three. I'll do three to start with and if that's not enough. So now it's just a matter of So use the glue, put it along the metal and stick it to the fabric and don't get your fingers all gluey like I did. Right, I'm not sure if I recorded this or not because I've just noticed the button wasn't pressed. So I'm just going to sew this piece of lace on that came from the little bit that was left onto the back because I forgot to do it. It is very fiddly, I hope you can see. Hold on a minute. Right, I'm going to bend these bits of wire so they all meet. I say I haven't planned any of this or tried it beforehand so it's all a bit of a uh, chance if it's going to work it's, it seems to have worked so far it is a little bit crooked but I don't think that really matters well if that's how it should look I'm reasonably pleased with that to be honest obviously once it's glued on that'll be a bit better second thoughts what I wanted to do was paint the two sides of this um, as they seem to be in uh, like panels when I've looked at pictures of them. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that first. I'll go get my paints, not my drill. Tobias is unpacking and Beth is having a good clean up and brushing that floor while Charlotte's in bed. 
Come on, Beth, I'll give you a hand here. Let's see what's in this box. Oh no, there's a rat. Ah, ah. Let me up on this box. Take this broom. I'll catch it. Oh, well, maybe not. Come on, Snout, give me a hand with that broom. Let's chase this rodent out. Get rid out. of it, get rid of it. Come on out the door, you. Oh, I forgot my flowers in the hallway for saying good sorry snout, about the snout. pram. Let's go get it. Oh, they're looking wilted. Better get them into some water. Oh, well, here goes. Let's see what she says. <gasps> Tobias. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Oh, I was so glad. Let's have a quick dance. Oh, I love a dance. Have you seen me do my little trick over the uh, broomstick there? Watch this. Jiggy, jig, jig. Jiggy, jig, jig. Well, that's me done in. Let's get these flowers into some water before they die even more. Come on, Beth. Let's have a seat. And you, Snout. I love you, Tobias. Well, what can I say? Bye from Tobias. You're just getting back in the chair, by the way. <laughs> right, let's try this. Okay. I'm trying not to cut the lace. I don't know whether I'm going to put this back in. Because it's great, but the, the issue is you can't put a doll in it. A baby. There we go. Now we can see, I can't see the true extent, but we can see that they've bent that to put that on there very stupidly. Yeah, it's a harder metal as well. It's probably brass, I think. Oh, it does not want to bend. There, got it. Right, so somehow I've got to get that off there. It should, but it doesn't. <laughs> Good grief. I thought it was just... Um... Ah! Why is things so complicated? Why can't they just be straightforward? I mean, that is definitely the original hooks. But... They've obviously made them the loops bigger. So... They don't... Come off. All I can do is unloop it. Like so. There we go. Whew, it's off. Right, I'm going to pop this in the hot water and see if it gets warm enough. Um, we'll soon find out. I'm going to use my heat gun as well. to heat it a bit more. I'm literally terrified of pulling it too hard. It's also judging where it's actually bent, and I know that sounds really odd to say that, but I can see it's bent there. Yeah, 
Gently, gently, catchy monkey, apparently. Oh, that's, that's looking straighter. I'm not too displeased with that. Right. Before we tackle that, I think we'll tackle this bit next. It really is super delicate. It's where to hold. It's literally where to hold it to get it right. See, I kind of want to straighten that out, but it's like, how? <laughs> I don't know if they're separate. They think they are. Oh, they're okay. And that it's it's made it all bend out. Too bad. Well, here it is, all finished, and I hope you agree, it turned out all right. I did lose a bit of paint, as you can see, by using the heat gun, but better that than losing the metalwork. So, uh, I had to glue a few bits back on, one of them being the piece at the back that holds the drapes. But it's all holding well, and surprisingly enough, it rocks. rock a bye baby in the treetop when the wind blows and it's blowing a bit now so <laughs> as you can see it's catching the covers but yeah it's cute and I love it and um, I don't regret having a go I certainly wouldn't want to do any more to it I'm going to risk it so yeah anyway ta-ta for now